Now let us create a basic point of sale in Google Sheets. First, I'm going to rename this one as basic point of sale or I'm just going to rename it from here. I'm just going to name this one as point of sale. Afterwards, I'm going to type in some of the values. So let's say I'm going to name this one as item description. Then this one is quantity. I'm just going to use QTY for that. Uh, here, I'm going to name as price. Then total amount. Or amount. There. Up next is I'm going to format the texts. Highlight. I'm going to change the alignment to center. There you go. I'm going to move it a little bit here. Now the good thing with this guys is if ever you're going to highlight this area, the columns, you can just simply drag it inwards and outwards and all of the columns that are highlighted will be reflected. Something like that. Up next is I'm going to highlight the cells again. I'm going to change the heading color to something like this blue right here, light cornflower blue. There you go. So I'm going to type in a couple of items here, let's say maybe food. Food would be great. So fried chicken, rice, um, soft drink, spaghetti. That's it. So the price of each of the items here, I'm going to write it here. Uh, fried chicken, let's say for example, I'm going to deal with Philippine peso price. I'm not familiar with the pricing, so I'm just going to type just something like that. Price will be something like 35, soft drinks will be 50, and spaghetti will be 85. There you go. So as you can see, the price here is not in currency, so I'm just going to copy this formatting right here. So click, then choose Paint Format, then click here. There you go. Same thing with this area. It should be in currency. So I'm going to click here, click on Paint Format, then just drag it over here. So that later on, if I'm going to type the formatting then or I'm going to type values then automatically it will be displayed as currency. Now for the quantity it's like uh, I mean if ever you're going to get the amount it's like price multiplied by the quantity. So if ever I'm going to buy two uh, fried chickens then automatically it will be multiplied by the price. Okay so to do that I'm going to type in equals to start our formula then click on the price which is d3 then since we are going to deal with multiplication i'm going to use asterisk then click on this cell right here then hit my enter key on my keyboard there you go as for now it's still zero it's because i haven't bought anything so if i'm going to buy two quantities of fried chicken automatically it will be 240. So I'm just going to copy the formula from here. So there is some sort of a small box here. So I'm just going to click on that and drag it downwards. There you go. So if ever I'm going to buy four rice, four pieces of rice, uh, two soft drinks, and two spaghetti, automatically it will be computed. This time we are going to calculate on the total amount. So the total amount or payable amount is, let's say I'm going to type it here, or I'm going to rename this one as payable amount. Click on equals, then Google Sheets has automatically suggested that we can use this formula right here. You can use that formula by clicking on this one, or you can just type it if you want. For me, I'm just going to use the suggestion. I'm just going to press my tab key on my keyboard or just click here. Then there you go. Okay, so that is the total price that you're going to pay. Now for the change. So for example, if 
uh, amount given I'm just going to type amount given so the money that you have is 1,000 pesos so I'm going to format this one again click here paint format click there you go so to get the change I'm just going to type change then of course you are going to deduct the amount given from or deduct the payable amount from the amount given so to do that I'm just going to press equals then click on amount given minus the payable amount so that will be the change this 350 pesos okay so that's the basics in point of sale using Google Sheets. So keep posted for the next one, which is we are going to deal with inventory in Google Sheets. Bye for now.